Hello folks, this is Michael doing a chest workout. The first one I'm doing is a incline dumbbell press for my chest, upper chest and front deltoids and triceps. Uh, the range of motion is a little bit short for this version I'm doing because I'm lifting a little bit heavier than I normally do. So I'm just keeping it short to keep my shoulder safe. Uh, same thing with my uh, flat dumbbell chest press here. Uh, the elbow is only going down up to my uh, torso area, not a little bit lower, because uh, I'm lifting a little bit heavier than I usually do, so just trying to gain some more strength. But I also lowered the range of motion uh, just to keep my shoulders safe. This one is a front barbell shoulder press, overhead press, and I'm using a little tiny leg assist just to keep the motion going a little faster. But uh, if you want to do a little bit stricter, you could do that, it's fine. To emphasize your shoulders more and use a little bit less of your legs. And the next one is also a uh, shoulder movement. I'm using a little bit body English and hip motion to get the momentum. Uh, you can go nice and slow if you like, with a little less weight. But I'm going a little bit faster. I'm more focusing on a little bit more power in this particular motion. Upright rows with a little hip thrust. And that's that. This is a reversed grip tricep press down. Focusing on the back of my forearm and my triceps. Exhale should press down, inhale should go up. My form is not uh, super strict in this one. I'm allowing my elbows to come forward slightly. And the last one here is a tricep seated dip. Also a little bit momentum. My shoulder going forward and back. This hoist machine kind of allows your whole body to move forward and back, which is a more natural motion, I think. And this is the last one for just a little cardio. I actually did this first for a warm up, but I put it in the video at last just because it's uh, less interesting than other exercises, I think. But uh, if you're doing focusing on cardio, I suggest you do this in the beginning for at least 20-30 minutes. But I like to do it uh, only for like 10 minutes just to warm up. And then you relax and stretch after your workout if you like also. And that's it folks. Have a great day.